Hey guys, it's Shelby and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that not many people feel comfortable talking about, but I wish it was more of an exciting topic or, I don't know, a more accepted topic to talk about your period more. It seems like that's kind of something we do behind closed doors and a lot of people like to keep it hush-hush. Except for on this channel, I'm sure you guys are a lot more open-minded because recently I've been getting a lot of questions about what I use for my period, what I recommend, and stuff like that. And between myself and Madison, we actually use a really good range of reusable and zero waste type of period products so I wanted to cover all of those in this video so let's go ahead and get started Did you guys know that the average woman uses 9600 disposable period products over her lifetime because women typically menstruate for 38 years that's not obviously like a definite number but as you can imagine that's a ton of waste and as you know here on my channel we try to reduce as much waste as possible through small changes in our lifestyles and this is one that anyone can make right now it's not only going to save you a lot of money over time if you switch to reusable products but obviously save a lot of waste and who doesn't want that so the first one I want to mention is one that a lot of people use and a lot of people in the zero waste community swear by and that is a silicone menstrual cup so I don't use these if you remember I've talked about this once before but putting things inside of me freaks me out just a little bit so I skip on these this is the diva cup Madison uses it these menstrual cups are typically made from medical grade silicone and you just kind of twist them up and pop them in there um, if you guys would be interested in a, just a tip video and tricks and like a how to kinda without getting too uh, personal if you know what I mean if you guys would like to see a video like that leave it in the comments and I'll get Madison to come on here and we'll just do like uh, tips and tricks for how to use a menstrual cup but you don't have to go with the diva cup although I will link this one below I know that there are several that people in the zero waste community uh, try other than just this one so there's like the Luna cup which I think I've heard Emmy from sustainable vegan talk about I've heard of the moon cup which I think Kate from EcoBoost has talked about Jenny mustard here on YouTube YouTube says she's had hers for 11 years so obviously these have been well tested and people love them so if you are typically using tampons I say try one of these out they're actually really pretty affordable I think you can get one of these for 20 bucks like I said I'll link it below and if you buy disposable products right now you know that that's like two months worth of tampons you just trade in to get the reusable and then that's it you can literally keep it like I said Jenny said she's had her for 11 years Imagine how much money that could save you. This video will go in terms of ones that are most accepted and most used to less accepted and less used, at least the way I see it, the general perception and the public eye, I guess. But because I don't like to use uh, tampons or put things into me, I use a reusable pad. So I've talked about these before as well, but these ones are made from bamboo and they're very sustainably made, but obviously they're also reusable. I think it's pretty self-explanatory how to use one of these. You use it as you would any other normal pad. The only difference is when you take it off, what I do is I put it in a bucket full of warm water and then I leave it sitting in there until it's time to wash it in my washing machine later on. Typically like a day or two and then I wash all of the ones I have in the washing machine and it just works really easily. It, a lot of people think it's gross or unsanitary or weird but honestly this is how women used to do it before we had disposable products and it's definitely a little bit of a learning curve, takes a little bit to get used to it but once you do it's not a problem and if you are like me and you are pretty scared of putting things inside of yourself but you still do want to reduce your waste and inevitably save money that is definitely a great option if you've ever tried reusable pads if you use them leave it in the comments below so we can reassure people that it's not so weird and that they should be scared of it or that it's gross or anything like that I'd love to hear your feedback if you are also a reusable pad user in the comments section. And the next and last product that I wanted to mention in this video, uh, you don't have to wear tampons or pads for this one, and it is period underwear. So these are the Hip Huggers by a brand called She Thinks, said to be able to hold up to two tampons worth of menstrual blood in these underwear. They're very comfortable, and actually She Thinks has a ton of different styles. Uh, this one, like I said, is the Hip Hugger, which I like things to come up a little bit higher because we all know Shelby is a little bit plus size so I go with those but again there are a ton of different ones you can choose from um, I'm gonna link them below as well I can't really use those on super heavy days so like the first couple days 
of my period are typically a lot heavier so I use my pads the first two to three days and then like the last two days I'll switch over to my period underwear excuse tippy for jumping down from the window above me he's always ruining my videos Anyway, I'm sure again with these, there is a taboo a little bit about them because it is a little unconventional and it is a little weird. But I do the same thing with those as I do with my reusable pads. I'll just put them into some warm water until it's time to put them into my washer to get them completely clean and then that's it. It's very simple and it's not some crazy hippie thing. I'm not free bleeding. Or does that, does that count as free bleeding? A lot of people in my life refer to me as a hippie, but I don't think I am. I think I just want to reduce my waist and have the smallest environmental footprint as I can. And obviously in the midst of all that, it means saving money, which I am also always down for. So I think she thinks actually gave me a $10 off coupon code just for signing up. I think anyone can get this coupon code. It's not like sponsored or anything. But if you want to try out She Thinks, I'll leave my link in the description and you can get $10 off of your purchase. I just find them to be really comfortable and less weird than trying to put something inside of myself. I have no problem with anyone who is comfortable doing that. Of course you can do it and it seems like the most simple option to be honest. I wish I wasn't so like weirded out about it. But even people who use the menstrual cups I've heard will use a uh, period underwear as like a as like a safeguard on their heavier days or they'll switch over to them when the lighter days come because it's not so uncomfortable to get the cup in and out on those days whatever works for you these are the options that I use and Madison uses that I would suggest you guys check out so you can reduce your waste and save money those are all the tips I have for you guys today like I said let me know in the comments if you use any of these products or if you would try them out and if you haven't tried a reusable silicone cup yet let me know in the comments if you'd like a tip and tricks video with Madison here with me so she can tell you guys how to use it what she finds is helpful and what isn't and lastly share this video with anyone you think would benefit from learning about these new things so they can save money and reduce their waste as well. We should all join in together and be doing this. It doesn't have to be an environmentalist thing. Anyone can do these things because it's not only beneficial to the planet, even if you don't understand those concepts, it's helpful to your wallet. So thanks for watching you guys and remember until next time, create the peace.